Love and Life family. Peace and blessings. How y'all doing? It's your girl, Catalea, and welcome to Catalea's World. Today, we wanted to ask the question, will Nick Cannon ever complete Nipsey Hussle's project documentary on Dr. Sabi? Will you ever? What, what's going on with it? What's going on? Okay. Now, before I got started on that, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of insight on who Dr. Sabi was. Dr. Sabi, whose original birth name was Alfredo Bowman, he was born November the 26th, 1933, in the village Yanga in Spanish Honduras. He was a self-taught pathologist, herbalist, biochemist, and naturalist. He traveled all over and developed a different approach to healing called Afrobiomineral Balance. He came to the U.S. diagnosed with asthma, impotency, obesity, and diabetes. After many unsuccessful treatments with Western medicine, he met with a herbalist in Mexico who taught him how to heal his ailments naturally. He began to create natural vegetation cell food compounds geared towards intercellular cleansing and revitalization of all of the cells that make up the human body. He then started sharing with others and it basically took off, thus the birth of the Usha Research Institute. After healing so many people of AIDS, herpes, diabetes, high blood pressure, and many, many more things, he was actually arrested, sued by the New York State for practicing medicine without a license. After trial, Dr. Sabi was acquitted of all charges because his medicine was simply just earthly herbs. In May 2016, Dr. Sabi was arrested after having tens of thousands of dollars in cash with no explanation of where the monies came from. During several weeks in jail, he contracted pneumonia and died in police custody as he was being transported to the hospital. Now, there were many, many conspiracy theories on what people thought took place, but we still don't have any full proof of what actually really happened. Dr. Sebi was such an influence to so many people around the world, as well as Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle wanted to shed light on how extraordinary Dr. Sebi was in honor of his legacy. Before Nipsey Hussle's untimely death on March 31st, 2019, he spoke out about working on a docu- Dr. Sebi documentary. Now, people mistakenly thought that the filming had already started at that point. However, it was more so in the organizing phase. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but there is a lot of elements that go into making a documentary of that magnitude and basically making sure that every intricate detail is projected to the people in the right light. And I'm sure Nipsey Hussle was aware of this, thus his detail-oriented planning. He never officially started film production but the blueprint was laid. So shortly after Nipsey Hussle's demise, Nick Cannon offered to continue the documentary on behalf of Nipsey Hussle. April 2nd, 2020, Nick Cannon drops the official trailer to the documentary called Strong Enemies, The Untold Case of Dr. Sabi. Amidst his pledge to continue the documentary, Nick Cannon was released of all television show contracts, including Wilding Out, which was one of the biggest shows of his career. And it was due to hate speech. Now, you guys pretty much know that story because I don't want to really go into detail with that particular whole thing. But Nick Cannon later recanted his choice of words and apologized to that particular community that begins with a J. You guys know what I'm saying. So after apologizing on February the 5th, 2021, Nick Cannon got all his contracts back. 
And as of now, we still have no documentary, which was scheduled to be released last year. Now, sources really close to the family say that when Nick Cannon came to the Usha village to do film production, that he really had very little interest in the actual Usha village. Um, he stayed there for six hours, I believe they said, for one day, six hours, and really, you know, just didn't even ask for healing or anything like that. We all know that Nick Cannon is a lupus patient. So he does have lupus. Um, and it's kind of strange. And a lot of the family, you know, felt the same way. Why did Nick Cannon not ask for healing advice to heal his lupus when he was there at the Usha village? Okay. He had very little interest in the Usha village, and he was really more so concerned um, about interviewing people and about Dr. Sebi himself and less concerned about the work that Dr. Sebi was doing. So it's just kind of strange that he would not, you know, seek any kind of healing when you are in a place of healing. So this is the question that i want to pose to you guys do you think that nick cannon pretty much jumped the gun and was clout chasing and that's why he said you know what i'm gonna go ahead and carry through with this documentary because i don't think he understood the point or the fact that no filming or no production had begun so he was pretty much taking over a situation where he had to start from scratch so you guys let me know what you think about this whole situation like comment and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell love and life family peace and blessings till next time i'm out